Hello fellow Pokemon trainers and we're rolling. Welcome to Pokemon TCG Daily match number seven. Um, if you're new to my channel, I've been up, uh, uploading now two Pokemon videos every single day. I've been uploading Pokemon booster packs for the past two months and I about a little less, oh, just about a week ago, I started uploading daily matches as well. We're gonna go ahead and jump in to find another match. I'm working on my way towards that computer search right now. And I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are. Uh, right now, I've been working uh, the Zoroark Lycanroc deck. This is basically the exact deck that I will be using next week out of regionals. Uh, a little bit sooner, uh, today, by the time anyone is watching this, I will be using this deck in a couple uh, leagues this weekend as well. Just this will be the last chance I have to uh, play a couple matches in person. So I'm excited to get a little bit of extra practice in. I'm thinking of maybe doing a vlog for this weekend, testing that uh, ground out, but for sure I will be doing a vlog of the Portland regionals as well. So there's just a lot of exciting things coming with this channel right now. So I think they're going to be working a steel type. Let me see how to take one mulligan. That's not bad. And let's hope this isn't a short match. I'm starting up with just my one Zorua, but I do have Bridget and I have N and I have an energy in my hand. So a pretty solid setup so far. I have a feeling. Oh, steel type. So what steel type deck are they using? This should reveal to me what their strategy is. I'm going to take a guess. Metagross, maybe? No, uh, Magnemite. Take that back. Could be both. Could be both. Could be a hybrid between the two of them. Uh, Magnemite right now has Magna Zone in a Lowland Diglett deck. Interesting. Ramorade. Um, we'll see what they're trying to cook up here. This belongs to a pretty cool attack. I don't think they can use anything yet. They're just building things up a little bit. Uh, I can't do much my next turn anyways. All I'm going to be doing is playing this Bridget and sending some of my guys out. And I think that's all I'm going to be doing. And attaching this energy to Rockruff. Get him going. And I'm going to end my turn there. Depending what my opponent does, I think I'm going to be attaching uh, maybe a Devil Colors energy. They're evolving uh, Star Unit Starmie, which I believe, yep, it uh, has the ability Space Beacon. Once during your turn, you may discard from your hand if you do put two basic energies from your discard pile into your hand. Pretty good ability, very important for water type decks. Octillery, I saw that coming. Abyssal Hand or play something else, Mount Cornet. Uh, Cornet. I this this is a good card. This is a great card. Um, there's been a lot of things that make Steel type decks, especially recently, work a lot faster with other. Um, even the Metagross deck. Uh, you know, it was it was pretty slow building it off. You know, or um, uh, so Galileo. Um, uh, it takes a lot of time to build up those steel type uh, guys, but there's there's a lot of things out there now that can really build them up quickly. Um, I don't know what a low. I honestly, I'm kind of figuring out this match as I go along. I'm not 100% sure of their strategy. They like Diglett. Uh, I don't I don't know what a low and Trio's attack is. So I'm playing on the side of caution. I am unfamiliar. I'm not afraid to say it when I say uh, uh, I am unfamiliar with this deck that they are working. I'm sure. Maybe, I'm sure at least one other person. I drew, uh, drew this leaf bulb blower just right when I wanted it. Oh, I will absolutely play that right away. They probably have at least one more uh, Mount Cornet, and maybe maybe two more. Uh, not that uncommon to see that many. I'm gonna go ahead and attach these guys up with some with some stuff and I'm gonna go ahead and play it. Good, good. Uh, I can't get any more Pokemon. Uh, no, 20, 40, 60, 80. I can get the knockout on Alolan Diglett. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I don't need to play anything else yet. I don't need to put down, I'm gonna save. Uh, Devour Field, in case they do play another Malcornet, then I do have a way to discard that stadium card, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my time. Hello, Induct Trio, perfect. 
effect, I can read what he does. I have a feeling it's going to be a... Discard any number of energy cards from your hand. This attack does 30 damage for each card you discard this way. That is brilliant attack. Now I see they've built a deck along this card. So how quickly can they discard? And they can get to, they're gonna try to get Mount Cornet back. I do see how that could add up quickly. With the Mount Cornet, this, this could be a very good deck. A very good deck. They're gonna at least get 60, 90, at least 90 off on my Zorwark GX, unless they have more. They could potentially get a knockout this turn very easily. They're gonna be at least doing, uh, getting two, so they got two, they're gonna be discarding two there, two more, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. Interesting. Unless they have, unless they have a ton. They got two more, okay, so they must have I'm gonna assume they're gonna discard a bunch of energy because they must have a bunch of energy in their deck. They can get two more energy, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150 I think right now. They could have more in there. What a great deck. This deck right here, Alone Duck Trio, I'm already saying now, you could play on a pretty good pounder how many they're gonna discard. One, two, three, four, five, six for the knockout. Damn, that is a cool deck. Okay, so I gotta do a couple things right now. So there are a couple ways I am gonna approach this. Uh, the first one is uh, a new deck. Absolutely uh, something, I haven't seen this deck before, so I need to draw a something right now. I don't have quite what I need, but I can slow them down. I can slow them down just a little bit, and I'm gonna have to play first, I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna go all cards in and attach this double colorless energy. I don't like maybe I could play Mewtwo. Mewtwo could be helpful. Um, if I can get a rock, I'm gonna be attacking that Starmie. Uh, that will slow down their production a little bit. Um, and no, ah, that isn't what I wanted to play. <laughs> no, you saw a grade A1 mistake right there. Uh, whoops, whoops, whoops. That's okay. That's okay. That happens. Um, I kind of want to retreat uh, Rock Ruff now. I was a too too caught in my train of thought. Like I said, those those things happen. Those things happen. You gotta actually be ready for mistakes that you make, even in an in-person event. And you gotta keep going, you know. And then hopefully you don't make those same mistakes next time. Um, you know, I'm gonna and actually, you know I could retreat him, but none of my guys. Uh, I can recover from this. So I'm gonna go ahead, not let him retreat out. I should have retreated him out because I could have got the retreat cost, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to just keep knocking these guys out. That was that was a bad mistake on my part. Ugh, frustrating. It's you know, it's one of those things, it's totally okay to get frustrated, you know, as um oh you know, as it is a kid's game. I I've done better, especially as I've done more and more of these videos. Um, not to like lose my cool, because it's best if you can stay cool under these intense moments to try to think through things clearly. You're much more likely to try to find a solution or at least a better um, way to work through things. They have a great deck. There's no denying that. This is a cool deck. If you are on a budget, this could be a fantastic option. They're going to get the knockout on my rock rough. I made that. I could have got that knockout, potentially. I've made a couple uh, laps of judgment this uh, this game. <sighs> Not a lot of good options. Uh, 
this match is just not going how I wanted it to. No. I'm gonna retreat out Zoric for Mewtwo. And then... Oh, that one lapse of judgment. I did not mean to play Mallow. I wanted to play Cynthia. But exactly that, you know, when you're in person at event, you know, it's it's kind of a good habit. Like, you know, once you set down a supporter card and you saw you just saw right there, you know, that's your play. You can't you can't retract things once you've already made those moves. Um, and then, you know, every match you learn something that you're not gonna do next time. Yeah, there's not there's not a lot I can do to recover from this now. I can try to stall a little bit. That's that's what I'm gonna try to do a little bit, but and that's how some matches go. You know, you learn a little bit more. I now know that this deck exists. And I think I'm gonna, you know, it's one of those things that I could choose not to share this match, but I think this is gonna be the match that I share for today still, just because um you know, it, you know, in the event that I do work up to a live stream, if this was a live stream, I wouldn't have a, a choice right now not to mention. So I really, these these um, daily matches I'm uploading, I really am trying to show them as authentic as raw as possible. The only ones um, I haven't really shown when I've decided I want to share this, you know, sometimes I play throughout the day so I don't have my um, uh, uh, mic to record things and stuff, or sometimes if they've been really short matches, uh, or like I, I lost on the first turn or something, which those would be funny. I could do a compilation of those maybe at some point. But... Um, it really is maybe I can show this deck bring this uh, to uh, people's attention that this deck is out there If you see your opponent setting up with a Alolan duck trio be aware that it is a deadly deck Only thing I have going for me right now is Actually not a lot. What am I saying? I don't have a lot going for me right now this match There's a lot of things I would have done differently with this match. Because I know that I have a good deck. I like this deck a lot. I've said that. I've made that pretty apparent that I like this deck. 20, 40, 60. Uh, not, not good that I'm going to be able to 20, 40, 60, 80. I need an energy right now. Hey, look at that. And just like that, may you know, I'm probably, I'm not hopeful that this match will go uh, how I want it to go. But hey, you know, you never know. You never know what can happen. <clears throat> the Tapu Lele for some, no, they discarded the Tapu Lele. probably have one 
not looking good for me. That's 150 so far if they have five. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Alolan Duck Trio, be on the lookout for this deck. That was a very great deck. My strategy would have been completely uh, different. Um, I made that lapse of judgment when I accidentally played Mel that one turn. I do think that was catastrophic had I been able to uh, pull out that Starmie a lot sooner. I do think that match could have been different. Um, but like I said, you know, I want to show you every match. Good, bad. I totally lost that match. 100% uh, got the floor uh, mopped with me. But, you know, I learned something a little bit more with each and every single match because I've had a lot of good matches shared on this one. So, yeah, this is the match I'm going to still share today. Uh, this has been Pokemon TCG Daily. Don't forget the subscribe button if you brand new and let me know if you knew of this deck because i did not know about this deck till now uh a great booster pack opening today too and you know it's one of those things that you know i'll be happy that i played against this deck because a week from now i might be playing against this deck in person at a regional event or maybe today and maybe i got a little bit more knowledge about uh my opponents their workings their deck they have a fantastic day trainers and i will see you tomorrow as always